when I came to Toronto, I looked around for community. I tried to find the, 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 the activities that people in the Black community, especially the Caribbean community, were engaged in. And as a result, I found myself running with activists, people who were seeing and expressing the things that in the society that were not fair, were not just, were not equal, were not inclusive. When we talk about obstacles, of course there are obstacles. Of course there, there are all the microaggression, uh, the, the things that are said to you to make you feel small, the things that are said to you was put down. But I had learned very, very early that one cannot put you down, you put yourself down along that social justice route that led me to the realization that I had to get myself in the area of politics if I wanted to effect and make some changes. And I walked into the Parliament of Canada in 93 with the assurance or with the cockiness, I belong here. <laughs> this is my place too. Move over. <laughs> I learned, I knew that I had to hold that space and keep that place so that others can come in. So I'm proud about Black History Month, my emotion that created Black History Month in Canada. I saw the celebrations from coast to coast to coast that everywhere in churches and entertainment and media, uh, in academic circles and schools, everywhere. February is known as Black History Month in Canada. And that is an opportunity for us to learn about the contributions of African Canadians and to learn about uh, Canadian society in general and make it the more inclusive history that it ought to be. The issue of taking risk is important. Take the risk. Don't be afraid to go down paths that others have not gone. Don't be afraid to, um, to take your passion, your vision, your whatever it is that's burning inside, go for it. <music>